In this special extended NACA 2019 coverage video, we'll answer more of your questions about becoming an independent adjuster and building the foundation of a career in claims that lasts, and we're starting right now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on that bell notification so you never miss a video. And thanks to Timothy from YouTube who says, dude, I've been wanting to get into adjusting for a while now. After searching forever, this video has answered almost every question I have about how catastrophic claims work, and I haven't been able to find anything else that explains it. And this is great, man. Well, thanks for watching, Timothy. The video he's referring to is almost an hour and a half long, and in it, I walk new adjusters through what to expect on the first hurricane, including how to run your claims if you have minimal experience and need to hit the ground running. Check it out. Okay, these are only a handful of the IA firms and gear vendors that were at NACA in 2019. I asked some of the questions you guys have been asking me, and some of their answers may surprise you. But before we jump into this video, I wanna quickly tell you about an incredible service called Schedulet. With Schedulet, you can route your claims, build your schedule based on parameters you set, contact your insurance, and this is a huge one for me, update your activity diary automatically. That's on all major IA estimating platforms. Setting up and calling your new claims, especially on a big hurricane event, takes at least a full day. A day you could be out in the field closing claims and getting checks into insurance hands. Improve your cycle time, improve your customer service metrics, and earn more money faster on CAT with Schedulet. Okay, let's check out the interviews. My name is Doug Hovey. Uh, I'm with IAS Claim Services, and I manage a unit called CAT Crew, which is a subdivision of, of IAS. We do the CAT claims for our clients. You do daily and we do daily and CAT. Um, we have specific clients we only work CAT for. Uh, most of our clients, we do a little bit of both. So if you're, if you're a, a 1099, it is highly encouraged to carry e &O. Uh, You want to work for carriers and, and IA firms that will represent you, but you never want to leave yourself hanging. If you're a, a W-2, generally on most W-2s, in fact, I don't know of a case where you're not, you'd be covered under that corporate umbrella of that employer. So your E&O would be paid for by that, that firm. That, that's really not much to it. I mean, E&O um, can vary from in rate on your experience. You need to approach a broker about it, and there are specific brokers that sell to adjusters. There's several good ones out there. Just you do some internet searches, you'll find them. I'm Mitch Whitman with Primeco Claims Group. I'm the president and co-founder, primarily a daily adjusting company just branching into catastrophe work. So getting in the daily business from scratch uh, is a little difficult, as you uh, would imagine. The most important part is to find I firms like us that are willing to take and train you. Uh, we utilize everything that we can and all uh, forms. We use TeamViewer to help you learn to write. We use FaceTime while you're out there to maybe uh, answer questions or maybe things you might overlook that, and you don't know. We want to help you while you're there live and we're more than willing to help you late at night learning to write your claims, understanding policy. You know, our job is to pay claims, not to deny claims. So we teach people about coverage. We teach people about writing claims properly. When we were eyes, we managed or had 26 uh, independent adjusting firms that we worked with. So that meant every time we got a new license, every time we got a new certification, we reached out to all 26 of them. We stayed active on their rosters. We kept them updated all the time. So we took claims from everyone. When you're on the daily side, especially if you're new, you don't have the luxury of saying, you know, what's your fee schedule? You know, do you do this? What kind of claim it is? It's, can you do the claim? Your answer is yes. You know, you take some knocks. You're not going to lose money, but you're not going to make a lot of money on all the claims. So some of the I firms have, you know, different fee schedules. Some are low, some are high, some are wonderful, some are flat rate. You just don't know. But when you're new, you don't have the luxury of asking those questions. You take whatever claim you get and you learn from it. You're not doing anything anyway. Don't sit at home and make no money when you have an opportunity to go out and make some. If you're going to be a truly daily adjuster, you need to ultimately learn how to do everything. You need to learn property claims and from every peril. And you need to be able to do auto claims. Maybe you don't want to do auto, it's better than going broke. 
You need to learn heavy equipment. All those things. You need to be willing to go out and maybe just take pictures for someone. You know, maybe it's just a picture-only assignment. It's okay. Whatever you have to to stay busy. The more you learn, the more we rely on you. When your name is right on the tip of everyone's tongue, you're going to get called. It doesn't matter that you don't, you're not the best adjuster. All we want you is to be coachable and respond. If we call, pick up the phone. It's a great way to build a business. So my name is Henry Vandesipe. I'm the Director of Finance uh, for Crawford Catastrophe Services. Kind of what differentiates Crawford from uh, our competitors and what makes it a great place to work for adjusters uh, is one, we're a mission-driven company. So uh, Crawford's mission statement uh, and, and what, how, what we hold ourselves to every day is to restore and enhance uh, lives, businesses, and communities. So it really makes you feel like you're a part of something you know bigger, bigger than yourself, which is a huge um, selling point for why I uh, am proud to work at Crawford. The other thing is really the opportunities that Crawford can provide to adjusters. Um, it's a place where adjusters can go and really find a career. So you could start in the CAT group, work there for a few years, and because Crawford has such a wide breadth of services, it's a great opportunity to uh, move into those areas, whether it's our We Go Look brand, um, Contractor Connection, Broadspire, um, our daily field operations or CAT operations. There's just so many different channels that people can, you know, find uh, career paths in outside of just the conventional catastrophe adjusting. So this year we just launched uh, a new adjuster uh, deployment uh, software called Renovo. Comes with a mobile app that all adjusters can download, uh, see their assignments, see their claims, see how they're being paid. Um, it's a tool that really lets us know our adjusters and develop real engagement with them. So we know where they are, what they're doing, um, and, it, and it puts them closer with us uh, as we're doing deployments, especially when speed matters, you know, in the heat of an event. And that's what's called Adjuster TV, right? Yep. yep. This is going to be like the B-roll where you say, the outtakes of me saying, is it Adjuster TV? Yeah, Adjuster yeah. TV? I'm not going to uh, use that one because everybody, <laughs> everybody knows. My name's Henry Vandesipe. I'm the Director of Finance at Crawford Catastrophe Services, and you're watching Adjuster TV. Just jumping in here real quick, if you like what you're seeing so far, be sure to hit the like button. And if you know somebody who you think might find value in this video, be sure to share it with them on social media. Okay, back to the video. Hi, my name is Whitney Myers. I'm VP of Marketing with NARP. That's National Adjuster Resource Partners. Uh, this is our first big launch to this community, and we are very excited to be offering an easy entry point for new adjusters to gain quality training and also get their hands on some of their first claims. So our program is nationwide. We have training uh, environments in over 2,000 locations in the US and the whole goal is to partner a mentor with a mentoree on site um, where you're from, not traveling to get training but right at home after your first 60 days with your mentor, you'll be adjusting real claims in your name um, and receiving 45% of that fee schedule. So you're gonna be doing that for 22 months. Um, that is an opportunity that's unheard of in this industry for guys or girls that are entering and it's something we're really excited to bring uh, to help control some of the quality for firms and providers. At NARP, we are the platform for you to get experience when you have no experience. That is the door that we are opening. So after entering into our program, you will have that experience with real claims because that's what the whole program is about, is working in the field, doing the real thing, day to day, uh, and consistently getting an income. We have so many guys that come in and they leave because they're not getting that income consistently. Whenever you're ready to be part of NARP and start your training program, the best way to get involved is to start by becoming a part of our database. If you go to narpmentors.com, you can register as an adjuster that's wanting to receive training. And then whenever positions come available in your area, we'll reach out to you and let you know. So I'm Darby Day with Worley Claim Services. i um, been with Worley for over 15 years. Worley has exposure throughout the U.S. We handle um, daily commercial um, catastrophe. We handle TPA claims. We also um, handle environmental projects as well. Some steps that I would recommend for getting into the industry is you're going to, based on your background, if you have a strong construction background, um, then you're in good shape. But if not, then you definitely want to start inquiring, either taking classes online or in person, so that you understand how to replace, because you are rebuilding things. Um, so that's a building block, um, as well as Xactimate. 
that platform is just utilized across and you need to know that. We have adjusters that have been working for, with us for 10 plus years and they're still learning on the program. So it's something that you constantly want to be taking advantage of, whether it's in person, online, there's a lot of different training opportunities. Um, and it's something that you need to keep up with. Getting your level two uh, Xactimate certification is a good idea because it's gonna allow you to stand out from other newer adjusters that are in, as you're being competitive with each other. Um, it shows the initiative. It shows that you're really invested in your, um, your training experience and wanting to get into the field. So we do recommend that. Another thing that we would recommend as a newer adjuster is going to be obtaining your home state license, of course but your New York state license, because that is so sought after. It's not difficult, but it is cumbersome. Um, so for you to go ahead and take that initiative, it really does allow you to set yourself apart from others because a lot of companies have a lot of exposure. Because so few have it, it allows uh, companies to reach out to you and get you up to speed. They're gonna offer you opportunities you may not have received because of that license, because of the exposure they have in New York, because that is a pretty steady business. When you're so new, you're looking for any opportunity. We had an adjuster that got it. He worked there for a little over a year, um, and he's never been back, but he has now worked for us in probably 30 different states. Um, so it really does allow you to get your foot in the door, which is so hard to do with so many people wanting, having to do the same thing at the same time, um, because there are a lot of newer adjusters that are already taking that initiative. Because it's a cumbersome process, a lot of people will start it, and then they'll be like, I'll get back to it, I'll get back to it. So it's just a little bit more cumbersome than any other license. You'll talk to newer adjusters, and they're like, I want field. I don't want to be inside, I, want, I don't want to be behind a desk. But the amount of experience that you're getting behind the desk makes you that much better in the field. So doing that, you're learning what you like, what you're good at, what you're not, and that again allows you to accept things in the future because that's just building your experience. You know, instead of limiting yourself to only daily or only at field, like, it makes you that much better in the field because you've seen the backside, you know the documentation, you know how to label your photos. Those things really click a lot faster, so you're able to close claims faster in the field. So it only makes you better. File reviewers on, are you typically better when they have the construction and they have the field experience because they're able to communicate and relate a lot better with the adjuster um, as to what the, how to make them better and to coach them up because that is part of the process. So um, definitely recommend some field experience um, before getting into file review. Being able to understand and just seeing the estimates, it makes a lot more sense when you've been in the field and things because if it's not there and you don't see it, you're not thinking something's missing. You're like, oh, that looks good. But then you know when you've been in the field, you're like, they're missing this line item, this line item. We typically have um, quite a bit of needs on the daily side in the Northeast and the Northwest. Um, we're also seeing quite a bit more work in the Dakotas and Montana, um, different areas that are a little harder to, to find reliable resources because of the, the nature of the business. It may be, not be cat work, but it's daily overflow. Um, so it's enough to keep you busy on a regular basis and it's usually a longer deployment because cat deployments are getting a little bit shorter than they typically have been in the past. So um, it's a great opportunity and you just get exposed to a lot of different loss types um, that are very um, applicable throughout your career. Getting into the business and having an understanding of the client expectations before you go on a cat, it's going to make it that much easier because you're not facing such a learning, a learning curve on the front end of it. Um, but at the same time, it really just depends on where you live. If you have people in your area doing ride-alongs, getting familiar, it's such a tight network. That also is very helpful because you're able to see, um, if you do ride-alongs with three different people, they're all gonna do it differently. So you can see what works for you and how to just kind of tweak what you do as long as you're consistent through the scoping process and so forth. But you're gonna be able to pick up things by anybody that you're around and it's just making sure that you're open to constructive feedback and really just putting your best foot forward because a lot of it, being a newer adjuster, you wanna, you wanna have a great attitude. You wanna learn. You wanna take what you can from the people that are willing to train you, the people that are willing to work with you because everybody wants to see you succeed because if you're succeeding, we're succeeding. So it's a very much a team environment because we can't, we don't want anybody to fall by the wayside. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, this is how I've always done it, this is how I'll continue to do it. And you want to get out of the mentality because our industry is changing as quickly as it is. 
you're going to find value no matter what it is when you're working with different companies and just the different teams that you're going to be meeting. I'm Chris Miller with Custom Tool Belt. Uh, we've been making tool belts since 1999. Uh, I've been an adjuster since 96. And the tool belts, uh, they work great for adjusters, roofers, estimators, mitigation contractors. Uh, initially, they were sold primarily to other adjusters. Now our adjuster market is about 40%. And every, it's other roofers, estimators, and other people that use the same belt. Uh, we're making the same belt called the Katmandu. This year, we're making a new belt called the Catman 2. It's the new new belt, and it's it's a smaller version for everything, works better for flood, um, and I'm excited to bring that out in June. Having the tools at hand is important, but being able to carry them is even more important. We've all seen safety videos. They put up the ladder, how far away from the house, how many feet above the roof. The guy gets all the way up on the roof, he's there in a nice shirt and pants, he doesn't have one thing with him. A real safety video is not only how to set up the ladder, but how to get everything you need to do this job up onto the roof or inside of a fire building or inside of a tornado damage building or a hurricane or a flood. There's a set of tools that you have to have to do this job. There has to be a way to carry them and carry them safely. Safely means your hands are free at all times, but a good job and professional is having everything you need with you at hand, but not in hand. The main pouch, the Katmandu belt, has been around since 99. And the main system is to be able to carry 8.5 by 11 format. It also accommodates a 12 inch iPad or the 8 inch iPad. The new belt is a component system. It's based only on a smaller iPad, 8 or 9 inch, with an OtterBox case. It'll fit. It has a smaller paper format to, to capture paper notes, and then a component system for all the different tools. The inside configurations are all different, so there's a, a myriad of tools that you can carry. You can change them to what fits the storm. Hey, Matthew, I'm Johnny Kroom. I'm Vice President of Catastrophe Services at Vanguard. We're a IA company that is heavily, heavily involved in automation. We automate the claims process from start to finish, and what this does is it, it frees the uh, time for the adjuster to do what we need him to do because he's the highest pay, paid employee we have at the time and that is going out inspecting losses and writing losses. We've taken our claim cycle down, uh, reduced it down below five days, uh, which I think helps the independent become more productive to speed the claims process up. The company was started all daily business, entered into the CAD arena uh, about three years ago, four, four years ago. It's been, it's been a great experience you know, building this for Vanguard. Yeah, schedule, it's been a, uh, it's, it's been an unbelievable tool for us. What I've done is, 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 is I, I look at it just like an adjuster, it, it really in the same eyes as, a, as, a, as an independent adjuster. I know there's guys out there that think, man, you know, I'm just getting started. I don't have a lot of money. This thing is a little bit pricey. Let me tell you, would you trade $20 for 2000 Of course you would every day. So, and that's the way I looked at it. So at Vanguard, we furnish Schedule It. All our people have to use Schedule It. They love it, so we don't really have to make them use it. But I made the decision to, to pay for it for my adjusters because if they get an extra five to six claims a week and they can do the math and figure this out, it's going to make me money, it's going to make them money, everybody's happy, and they love Vanguard. And for 2019 going forward, we're, we are putting, we've got so much business. First, this all this automation has resulted in clients approaching us to handle their claims because they've heard of the claim cycle times, it blows their mind, and they're coming to us saying, hey, can you handle our claims? I'm very careful about that because I never want to overcommit. So we're looking, we're aggressively seeking adjusters. Uh, we need adjusters. We need daily adjusters. We need CAT adjusters across the United States. We would like to talk to anybody interested in, in getting on our roster or maybe even working daily claims for us, no matter where they are. When you do your resumes, tell it like it is. Uh, in this industry, this is kind of a unique industry. Uh, we're big on mentoring. Uh, when you come to work for us, we have you with a team lead. That team lead, his responsibility is to make you successful. Because if you're, if you're successful, we're successful. If you're not successful, obviously we're not successful.
Hi, Matthew. I'm Ron Hart. I'm with Bees360. We are a tech company uh, based out of Houston, Texas. Um, and we're here to help streamline your inspections uh, for field adjusters and, uh, and IA firms. The drone app that we have, um, it has a, what we call an autonomous flight feature. Our drone will actually fly itself uh, with the use of the Bees360 app. By that, I mean that you plot the coordinates of, of the house and the property. Um, and then once you have your parameters set, you hit the fly button, it'll, it'll go up, it'll fly above the property, um, above the house, it'll produce the CAD, um, and then it'll take the close-ups for you, it'll lower itself, adjust the angle automatically, and take the close-ups. From that, it'll produce the damage detection. From the damage detection, it'll produce the photo reports, fully labeled and organized, and from, the, from that, it'll produce the, the estimate. It can be used on different perils, uh, wind, hail, um, if it has mechanical, it'll highlight that, as well as wear and tear. Um, and then from there, it's a matter of minutes. Our damage detection software will run through several hundred photos in seconds. It'll produce a damage detection report in three to five minutes. Uh, the comprehensive reports, uh, that includes your estimate, your photo, uh, your damage report, your CAD, and a template for your narrative. Uh, within 45 minutes to an hour. It's been calibrated by adjusters. So it knows the, the specific photos, it knows, it knows the proper inspection sequence, front, right, back, left, your overviews, your close-ups, um, your collateral, it knows to take that. Again, the beauty of with, the, with the artificial intelligence as well is that it has the product built in, meaning that it knows laminated shingles, it knows metal, tile, composite, um, even some of the flat roofing systems uh, modified um, and your rolled roofing, it knows that, um, and it can detect damages. Uh, based off if it's an impact, if it's an explosion like a, like a blister, it knows the difference between the two. My name is Stuart Clark, I'm with CNC Catastrophe. I'm the operations manager with the company. I've uh, been with CNC for just under three years. We are a, a, an adjusting firm that handles everything from flood, uh, daily, cat work, wind, auto, liability, we kind of do the full bit. I think if you were to look at the industry and say, uh, what is CNC known for? We'd probably be known for two things. Uh, one would be training, and two would be technology. To give them tools to help them streamline their process, uh, get through the process quicker, and learn how to make more money and be more efficient as an insurance adjuster in the industry. So, If I were to talk to new folks getting into the business, uh, from what I've seen coming from outside the industry into the industry, um, there's a lot of folks that uh, IA firm hop, you know, they get in and uh, they, they get started with a the company, they, they don't get enough claims uh, or enough claims as they feel that they should have and so they start jumping around and, and uh, I think that's a pretty common theme in the in, in insurance adjusting world. So my advice for them would be uh, interview the IA firms that you're going to go work for more than they're interviewing you. Uh, find the insurance adjusting firm that's going to have the tools, the training, uh, the opportunities to engage with the staff at the home office that you're going to be working with and then take advantage of those opportunities. If there's training, go. Sign up. Make sure you're seen. Make sure that you talk to some of the trainers while you're there so that they put a name with a face and they know that you may not be the most experienced adjuster in the world, but you're showing up and you're putting the effort in. You're going to the training sessions. They're giving you homework and you're doing it. You're on time. You're early. If they show, ask you to show up with Xactimate on your laptop for a training session, don't show up without it downloaded yet. You know, make sure you're prepared and you're on time and you're ready to be engaged. Don't sit in the class and just listen and take notes. Listen, take notes and talk, ask questions. And that question might have been the one everybody in the room was thinking. So I would say uh, my piece of advice for anybody new coming into the industry, interview all the insurance adjusting firms that you can. Find the one that fits your personality. If you're a techie person and you want to be with a company that's tech savvy and going to provide you with a bunch of technology related tools, uh, then that's the route you need to go. If uh, you can find one that can combine the best of technology and the best of training and keep you busy training until there is an opportunity, go that route. Find what works for you. If uh, you're old school and you don't like technology and you don't want to go that route, find a company that doesn't use technology, but uh, that's going to be a tough one. So I would say uh, do your research, find the best fit for yourself, and then stick to it. Stick with that group until you become a part of their core adjusters and then you're not going to have to worry about the long run. Have that five, ten year vision, not that six month vision or three month vision because that's going to get you confused and you're going to be looking for other firms too quick. 
And then uh, sometimes people end up building that reputation after a little while. You've jumped a couple of firms. It's a small community. We all know each other. Uh, word travels fast. So be thinking about the perception uh, that the insurance adjusting firms have because their perception is greater than your reality in the long run and for your future. My name is Katrina Flower and I am in charge of adjuster resources and adjuster development, roster development. I do all the CAT deployments, the dispatching of the CAT claims and oversee the daily dispatch as well. We are a property and casualty company and we do daily and CAT. We are in 48 states. We do a lot of firm and ranch um, as well as you know regular standard property, uh, residential and commercial. Um, my biggest thing I always try to encourage everybody to do is ride along so I think that you know, meeting somebody, whether it's through social media or that you know an adjuster or maybe the adjuster that came to your house, that is the one that got you in the business. Um, try to reconnect with them and see if you can go out on some, some claims. Having the ride-along experiences gives you a little bit of a leg up because they're like, well, he's at least seen it in action. He's not just saying, oh, I went and did all these classes, but I don't have any real experience per se so this makes you look a little bit more marketable to the IA world you know play around with the estimating softwares getting familiar and proficient in the estimate platform is very important because that's usually the most cumbersome part and that's where they kind of fall apart at the seams whenever they're out on their own handling that first claim so you know make sure you, you can really handle the computer and, and the estimating part of it keep getting on rosters keep hounding them squeaky wheel gets the grease like you will get your chance, you just have to be patient. We're growing, um, we're gonna have more accounts than ever. We do annual conferences, they're always really fun, so be looking out for that. We always encourage you to get certifications and you know, call us, ask us any questions, maybe we'll get you added on the roster. Question of the day, will you be attending NACA in 2020? I will. Head on over to nacatadj.org to register for the upcoming NACA conference. If you're new or even if you're experienced and have never attended the conference, here's how it works. There are continuing education and training classes every single day, as well as a multi-day job fair. Using the NACA app, you schedule actual interviews with recruiters from dozens and dozens of IA firms. There are events almost every single night and the last day is the big expo where you can see the latest and greatest in technology, gear, apps, and services, as well as network with all of the IA firms as well as other attendees. It's a really great time and just for the job fair alone, worth 10 times the entrance fee. NACATADJ.org, check it out. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. I feel like I was leaning in a little bit. Whatever. No comedy in this one.